Welcome back to Dead Horrors. Mackenzie House, located in Toronto, Ontario, is a place shrouded in chilling tales and paranormal encounters. Once the residence of Toronto's first mayor, William Lyon Mackenzie, this Victorian house holds a haunting reputation, believed to be haunted by the very spirit of Mackenzie himself. Visitors to the house, which now operates as a museum, have reported spine-tingling experiences, including ghostly apparitions, phantom footsteps echoing through the halls, and objects mysteriously moving on their own. Stepping into the eerie atmosphere of Mackenzie House, one is immediately transported to a bygone era. The creaking floorboards and dimly lit rooms set the stage for an encounter with the supernatural. The tales of haunting begin with the restless spirit of William Lyon Mackenzie, a man known for his fiery spirit and political aspirations. It is said that Mackenzie's spirit lingers within the house, unable to find peace even in death. Visitors have reported glimpses of ghostly apparitions, fleeting shadows that appear and disappear in the blink of an eye. Some claim to have seen a transparent figure dressed in 19th century attire roaming the rooms of the house. It is believed to be Mackenzie himself, forever trapped between the realms of the living and the dead. As one explores the house, an overwhelming sense of unease fills the air. Whispers of long-forgotten voices seem to echo through the halls, sending shivers down the spine of even the most skeptical visitor. The sound of phantom footsteps can be heard, as if someone invisible is pacing the corridors, their presence felt but unseen. Doors mysteriously open and close on their own, and objects inexplicably shift position, defying the laws of the physical world. In the dining room, a chilling presence is said to linger. Visitors have reported feeling an icy breeze sweep across their skin, accompanied by an unnerving sense of being watched. Some have even claimed to witness the flickering of candles without any discernible source as if unseen hands are manipulating the flames. The attic of Mackenzie House is a particular source of dread for many. It is here that the most intense paranormal phenomena have been experienced. Visitors have described an overwhelming heaviness in the air, as if an invisible weight is pressing down upon them. Cold spots, where the temperature suddenly drops, have been felt sending a shiver down the spine. The sound of disembodied whispers and faint laughter fills the attic, leaving those brave enough to venture there with an unshakable feeling of dread. Despite the unsettling encounters, Mackenzie House continues to operate as a museum, welcoming curious visitors seeking a taste of the supernatural. The museum staff themselves have shared their encounters with the unexplained adding to the house's haunted reputation. They have reported objects mysteriously vanishing, only to reappear in unexpected locations, and the feeling of being watched even when alone in a room. Whether one believes in the paranormal or not, the stories surrounding Mackenzie House leave a lasting impression. The building stands as a testament to Toronto's history, intertwining the life of William Lyon Mackenzie with the mysteries of the afterlife. For those brave enough to step through its doors, Mackenzie House promises an encounter with the unknown, where the past and the present collide in a chilling symphony of ghostly whispers and spectral apparitions. In the dark and desolate outskirts of St. Louis, Saskatchewan, a haunting legend, lingers, casting a pall of terror over the unsuspecting. It is the chilling tale of the St. Louis ghost train, a spectral locomotive that materializes out of the blackness, defying the bounds of the living world. Whispers 
of a tragic train accident echo through the town's history, seeping into the very fabric of its existence. Long ago, a fateful night gave birth to this supernatural phenomenon, forever entwining the souls of the departed with the tracks that traverse the eerie landscape. Locals recount the harrowing details of the catastrophe, speaking of a twisted metal wreckage and the agonized cries of those trapped within. On certain nights, when the moon hangs low in the sky and the air is thick with an oppressive stillness, the St. Louis ghost train emerges from the depths of the abyss. Witnesses, their hearts pounding with trepidation, claim to hear the distant, mournful wail of a train whistle. Its melancholic sound resonates through the darkness, piercing the silence with an eerie chorus that freezes the blood. Then, as if summoned by a malevolent force, a phantom train materializes before the trembling eyes of those unfortunate enough to bear witness. A spectral locomotive, wreathed in an ethereal glow, glides along the tracks with an otherworldly grace. Its spectral wheels spin without sound, defying the laws of the physical realm. Wisps of phantom steam billow from its spectral chimney, dissipating into the night like specters themselves. As the ghostly train barrels through the night, a sense of foreboding descends upon the onlookers. Some swear they can see the faces of the ill-fated passengers peering through the fogged-up windows. Their eyes filled with an eternal sorrow. The air grows colder, laden with an unearthly chill that seeps into the bones, leaving those in its wake with a paralyzing dread. Terrified witnesses find themselves ensnared in a vortex of fear and fascination. Some, driven by morbid curiosity, dare to venture closer, desperate to touch the intangible, to unravel the mystery that shrouds the St. Louis ghost train. Yet, as they draw nearer, the ethereal locomotive evaporates into the night, leaving behind only a haunting echo of its existence. The legend of the St. Louis ghost train continues to grip the imaginations of those who dwell near its cursed path. Some believe it is a harbinger of doom, a warning of impending catastrophe. Others see it as a manifestation of restless spirits, forever trapped between the worlds of the living and the dead. Regardless of its true nature, the Phantom Train serves as a chilling reminder that the boundaries between life and death are not always so easily defined. As the night settles over the desolate tracks near St. Louis, Saskatchewan, the air grows heavy with the anticipation of the supernatural. The legend lives on, passed down through generations, ensuring that the tale of the St. Louis ghost train remains etched in the annals of horror. And on those fateful nights, when the stars align and the veil between worlds thins, those brave enough to venture into the darkness may find themselves face to face with the spectral locomotive, a haunting reminder that the echoes of tragedy can never truly be silenced.